Welcome to the English and Modern Languages Department at Henry Street High School. I'm John Edwards, and I'm the department head. Here are the English pathways that grade nine students can choose. There's the pathway of the academic stream, the applied stream, and the locally developed stream. You can see that in grade nine, there are compulsory courses. A student must take either 1D, that is the academic English, the 1P or applied level English, or the 1L, which is the locally developed English. You can see how the academic grade nine English leads one to grade 10 academic English, followed by grade 11 and 12 university bound English. The 1P or applied level English leads one to the pathway of applied level grade 10 English, and then the college bound grade 11 and grade 12 English courses. Finally, the locally developed leads one to the locally developed grade 10 English course, and then workplace English in grades 11 and 12. In grade nine, students take French as a second language at either the academic or the applied level. Students within the academic stream can then take core French, FSF 2D at the academic level, and then proceed to take core French FSF at the 3U and the 4U levels. Students after FSF 1P1 who wish to continue with their studies can do so. While the FSF 2D1 course requires FSF 1D1 as a prerequisite, a student from the 1P1 course may continue in his or her French language studies pathway destination in consultation with the principal and on the recommendation of their FSF 1P1 teacher. In choosing between applied or academic English, here are some considerations. In the applied level course, the emphasis is on practical applications and concrete examples rather than theoretical ones. This is the pathway to college or the trades. Students develop ideas from reading and applying them to their own lives, as well as developing basic writing and communication skills. The academic stream, on the other hand, emphasizes both practical and theoretical and abstract concepts. This is the pathway to university, college, or the trades. Students develop the skills to successfully provide a close analytical reading of literature. In terms of the expectations or the content standards differences within the 1D and 1P courses, 1D1 students will have um, the ability to analyze information, ideas, and elements to make inferences, whereas the 1P students uh, will describe information, ideas, and opinions. So the difference here is largely between uh, analysis versus description. In terms of course content in the applied stream, you can see that um, there's no Shakespeare. We would read a novel such as The Hunger Games uh, versus in the academic stream. We would read Shakespeare, typically a Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, the novel selection might be Life of Pi or The Hate You Give. In both courses, however, there's Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test Skills Development, Reading and Writing Skills, the writing, however, is a little different between the applied and academic streams. In the applied course, we will focus on short writing tasks versus the formal literary essays in the academic stream. There's much more independent reading in the academic stream, as well as um, one or two lengthy presentations. In the applied level course, there's some independent reading, but not as much. One or two short presentations, more real world examples. And focus here in the applied level course is much more around the mechanics of writing rather than the content of one's writing and the ability to analyze a text in a critical way. In the French stream, both courses emphasize speaking and listening to communicate, development of reading and writing skills, and identifying various components of the language and producing some original content. Main differences here is that within the academic stream, the pacing is quicker and there's more of a focus on independent reading and more lengthy writing assignments. the strands within both the English and the French subjects. In each case, we have the exam or summative project for 30%. And then we have the core strands within English are literature studies, media studies, oral communication, and writing. These are worth 70% of the grade. 30% is for the exam and or summative. Within French, we have the core strands of listening, speaking, reading, and writing, worth 70% of the grade. 30% is for the exam or summative project. 
We have a Henry Street High School English and Modern Language Department website. You can access directly under departments on the Henry Street website. So I encourage you to take a look at that. Finally, leveraging digital in the department. This is one of the things that uh, we look to do with, uh, within Henry Street's English and Modern Languages Department. We have a one-to-one -one Chromebook implementation. Students use either D2L or Google Classroom as their learning environment. We focus on uh, students creating and demonstrating their learning through creative tools such as podcasts, video creation through our WeVideo platform, online discussions using green screens, website creation, online discussion boards, amongst many other things. If you have any questions, please email me. I can be reached at jonathan.edwards at ddsb.ca. Thanks for watching.